the third Sunday in Lent, Year B, from the Gospel according to Mark. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sometimes it feels like we've been in Lent already for 52 weeks, not three. Like we've been hanging on with both bleeding hands, holding in place the remaining stones of this temple. I wonder whether that kind of desperation is what causes Jesus to just lose it in our gospel reading for this week. Jesus has been holding his zeal in check for the sake of his people teaching in the synagogues, eating with tax collectors and sinners until he just can't take it anymore. And he snaps, chasing folks out of the temple with a whip and throwing the furniture around. This is the behavior of someone who has found the limit of constructive action. Jesus knows full well that his zeal will lead to the destruction of the temple of his body. And that's a consequence he's willing to face. Are we willing to face such consequences? There's some serious teardown work to be done by all of us in the church to remove what is rotten and what is crumbling, lest we build something new on top of it. The Ten Commandments are exactly what we need if we're going to start cleaning out all this debris. It's exhausting just to think about it. Paul recognizes this, recognizes us shaking our heads, wondering where to find the strength to begin. That's why he reminds both us and the Romans that we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and a foolishness to Gentiles, but to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. Let us start this work, therefore, by stopping and simply acknowledging the God who joins us in the midst of all this rubble. Despite consequences that crush the body, he's taken upon himself for the sake of joining us. Then the beauty of God's justice may rejoice our hearts. Its clarity may give light to our eyes. Let the commandments give us pure and sustaining strength, more to be desired than much fine gold and sweeter far than honey than honey in the comb. May that sweetness be enough for us, standing here at the foot of the cross, savoring the love, the zeal for the house God has built for us, love that sent Jesus through death with weakness stronger than human strength. In the name of that same Jesus, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.